Hi again. So today we're going to talk about cultural differences, but only one topic, and it's about marriage in Iran. And basically, how girls and boys meet before marriage. Cultural differences. Cultural differences. And customs. Okay, customs. And also how we do marriage proposal. Before we move on, please make sure you subscribe to our. YouTube channel and yes, yeah, stay with us in this video. And why am I saying and all the time? I don't know. <laughs> this uh, marriage proposal in Iran works like this. But basically, the boys' family are supposed to go to the girls' family's house, and they have to set exact time to go uh, to the girls' house, and it's all by the family's permissions, basically, because you're going to have in, to, to meet the families first. And I think, I don't really know about it now, I think 85% of the times is something which is being arranged by the families. But nowadays, it's been different, and things are getting changed, I think, in Iran. Usually boys and girls meeting before and then they let their families know about it. However, the marriage proposal in general still stay the same. It's like boys family should go to the girls family's house and the boys family must get a bunch of flowers and they have uh -huh. to take flowers to the girls house and they're basically going to show their respect to the girls' families. So then, do you have such thing in here? A very traditional families, maybe. Wow, so the whole family gets involved. So basically, it's, not, heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like just the fa whole family. It's about, I, th I think, the parents, generally. Sometimes, maybe uncles and aunties might get involved as well. But it's, oh, okay. yeah, but, but I don't really know if they're doing it nowadays or not. Um, so how about here? Yeah, here that's not really common. Uh, usually, the it's up to the get. Traditionally, the guy will propose to the girl, and then maybe after that they'll announce it to the families. Often, the families won't even know until after they're engaged. After they're engaged. Sometimes, yeah. What? Sometimes people do it. Want to do it as a surprise, and um, they don't tell anyone about it until it happens. I think if you do that, I don't know. And then what? Then so do you mean... The man will buy a ring. Yeah. Uh, maybe take the girl somewhere nice on holiday or somewhere romantic but special to them and get on one knee and pop the question. Pop the question. And then after that, they'll announce it maybe. And then, yeah, maybe after that, they'll then go to see the families. Oh, I see. So it's not like families are actually meeting up, seeing each other. It's just the boy and the girl. Just the boy and the girl. So I think one thing about... Tradi traditionally. Uh, traditionally in Iran, I think yeah. one good thing is that when you actually see both families and when they actually get to know each other, one good thing is that, I don't know, maybe it's something... They would know each other beforehand. So families actually get to know each other beforehand. One thing is that usually for these marriage proposals in Iran, the boys' family and the girls' family, they're usually trying to show their best um, looking, um, I don't know, I think it, it, it's usually like you put your best clothes on, you, you're trying to make sure you're having the best mannerism and um, I don't know, you have to be very honest into these marriage proposals in Iran. Another thing is that it shows an, a kind of respect as well to the girls, I don't know, it's like showing that the girl is very important so if as a boy you want the girl, you have to go and ask her family's permissions for it. But what do you think of this? Yes. Very different to how they do it here. Um, I think in general, the families in Iran tend to be a lot closer and spend a lot more time with Together. each other. Yeah, people here, they're not thinking about their families first. They're mm -hmm. just putting them, um, think about their own life and their partner. And, uh, yeah, sometimes families are a bit of an afterthought to, to all of that. It right. just depends on the person as well. Some people have very close families and will discuss everything. Um, but, but to be honest, I think even though in the history of this country, you were having um, sort of similar things, for example, about in royal families, um, it was like the prince and the princess, they were supposed to meet each other from, uh, I think, beforehand. Oh yeah, they have to find a suitor, like a royal yeah. suitor. Royal um, suitor. 
So it yeah. was something that you were supposed to, they were doing it in here. How about very traditional families in this country, uh, in the UK? Sure, they used to do that. Um, I think it's more or less died out, but perhaps mm -hmm. some really wealthy aristocrats might still do it. I'm not too, oh, I too see. sure. But I, I don't really think so. I think even they are finding their own partners these days. I think even in Iran nowadays, it might be changing a little bit. It's more getting, things are getting changed in there. And probably the marriage proposal in Iran is now changing as well. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much a very simple cultural difference that we uh, have. So I think um, it might be something that even in Iran nowadays it's happening. Sometimes girls asking boys to marry them, but not too many of them, not all of them. But it, there might be some people who would do that. Do you have such things in here? Yeah, it's becoming more and more common just recently because mm -hmm. there's a lot of things. A lot of people want to change sort of gender roles and mm -hmm. it's not uncommon now to hear that um, the woman or girl will propose to a partner. How do they but, do that? Um, well actually there's an old custom where they say every leap year, which is every four years when there's one extra day in the year. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. We, we call, in Persian we call it Sale uh, Kabise, which we oh, okay. have one day extra. like adding up to the year yeah okay yeah basically they say the leap year is the traditional day where women can propose to the to their partner but it only comes once every four years all right so do you mean they they're supposed to be together for four years until the girl asks the boy or what yeah if the girl's been waiting that long then it's her right to propose to the man <laughs> really yeah it's a silly wow. old old custom oh wow that's quite interesting but sometimes Someone might do it for fun, it's maybe. Like Jess, look, I've been waiting for you too long. Now we have to get married, and that's it. The, yeah, exactly. the girl's asking the boy. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> it's so funny. It was one of the cultural differences that we have about marriage proposal, how they do it in Iran and how they're doing it in the UK. Actually, we pretty much understood how you're doing it in this. I mean, Western countries is quite the same, or most of them. Uh, but I just explained how we do it in Iran. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the button. Thumbs up. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.